Welcome back. We welcome Ken Savage to the show. Ken caught his wife cheating through Facebook, so he started a support site of sorts called facebookcheating.com. Welcome. Hi, Ali. Now, it, walk us through how you found out your wife was cheating. Well, when you walk into the room and she's on a computer and she closes the uh, laptop very quickly or, you know, a quick, hey, it's you, what, what are you doing home so early type thing, mm -hmm. you know something's going on and it's, you know, the middle of the afternoon and, you know, it's kind of weird that you jump so high. You know, I didn't really startle you, so that, that's a good indication or a good right. spot anyways. So you, you had this kind of intuition, but what's remarkable is that the way you went about finding out if she was cheating was highly technological. In fact, you had um, an alarm clock with a hidden camera. Is that how you actually saw the act, so to speak, of her with another man? Well, it started off with just recording. You know, I have asked a dozen times what's going on, who are you talking to. If it's old boyfriends, it's fine. I don't mind. I trusted my wife. Um, it led to really there's nothing going on, and I knew there was something, so I bought technology to prove otherwise, and, you know, I was right. And so um, I'm curious, you had this hidden camera, and you videotaped your wife with this man, which you then walked, watched streamlined at work, correct? I could have. I didn't use it to that degree, but it was set up and ready to go type thing. Um, it but was more... Physically chatting on the computer is what sealed it for me. So, Ken, um, you didn't also, actually watch videotape of your wife having sex with another man? No, 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 no. Okay. No. I, it wouldn't have gotten that far, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, well, it's, I, I went on your website, and it's, um, it's basically people who have been cheated on writing their stories of how they dealt with infidelity. Uh, now, uh, it's gotten a lot of hits. It's become extremely popular. Now, do you find that people go on the website, they read the stories, and it sort of hits home for them, and they think, oh, my God, I need to check out my spouse. My spouse was doing the same things or wearing the same sweatpants and going out for Chinese at 3 in the morning. Have you found that? Right. It, um, a lot of people come and ask questions like I'm an expert at spying on your your um, spouse. I'm not. I, I just try to put the story out there on how I found out and how easy it was to use Facebook to set up relationships. Um, you know, I just wanted to trust my wife and I used technology to prove otherwise. Well, it opens up a whole other world for relationships. Don't you find that, Bethany? Well, I, I mean, I think that you can't really have much privacy with Facebook and Twitter. I mean, someone could be in a restaurant uh, thousands of miles away, and you could find out exactly what they're doing. So, I mean, it might, it might be a way for people to catch their spouses cheating. It's sick, I think but Facebook's a wonderful way of finding out if your partner's cheating on you or not. <laughs> Sad as it is, it's a, it's a product of but you at know, the same, 21st but century. But at the same time, to put that on Facebook, then you're going to get caught anyway. So what's the point? True. Well, I think and, a psychiatrist so would probably that you say do. you were dying I mean, to get caught. to be caught, caught than not know at all. But it wouldn't be right. you, it, necessarily it, it, you, sir. It might be someone just saw somebody and posts a picture. It doesn't have to be that you're, you're doing espionage. Well, you then can you confront your partner. But isn't it better to put it out there and know than live in denial? You know, what, what, what's the point of that? What's the point of swimming in denial? Let's Cheating know if is you're about to You were the mistress, right? I just want to, you were the mistress. Swimming so it's shark, the dishonesty that is wrong. I it's was, not the sex was. That's wrong. So how have and you been demonizing wrong sex as a mistress? Because I'm we have surrounded it with dishonesty. Ho Holly, excuse me one second. We, how we are need you, to start. Holly, excuse me. How are you wronged if you were the mistress? I'm really confused. How are you wronged if you're the mistress, Sue? Um, a mistress encourages her, 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 the man in her life to lie to his wife. I and know, this I'm is asking not Sue. about I'm asking you know, a Sue. mistress. A mistress, website listen, a mistress is, is about very much like a wife. Well. A mistress and a wife has a lot in common. They are both in love very with a man who is cheating. cheating on them and lying to them. A mistress is very much like a wife. They are both in love a with a man who's. Except that you're the mistress. You knew what was going. You knew. You know that the person's married. A mistress is a dishonest wife. I know, Holly. Let's let's person get rid of it. She's a liar. Holly, okay, you need a muscle for one second. No, this can I answer the question or not? All right, I, I, I need to take over as much fun as it is to watch the big cockfight out here. Um, I do want to ask Ken one question, which is, Ken, have you found that as a support group, 
Your website has really worked. Do people comment to each other? Do they befriend each other and say, hey, I went through the same thing, and you know, this is how I'm dealing with it? Yeah, a lot of people, they go on the website, thousands read it, hundreds um, comment, and they say, you know, nobody's saying, hey, thanks for, uh, for the information. They're telling their story. Mm -hmm. um, I told my story, and I just kind of sat back and let other people do theirs. They're I revealing what's going on. And right. Um, that's part of the community. That's part of what the website, why it's so successful. Well, I think um, it's great. People and are sharing I, and finding out. I think it's great, Ken, and I actually think that you're going to find probably the love of your life somehow on that support website, so good luck to you. And more on marriage, right. monogamy, and misbehaving spouses, and if I'm lucky, I can get all three of my guests in a big mud pile together, so stay with us. <sighs>